Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Kotaku. Today we're going to talk with uh, Ra Sensei, the Chinese teacher at the HU Center. Hi, hi Ra Sensei. Hi. So, uh, Ra Sensei, um, you, uh, you're, you're working in the uh, center now for some years and uh, but uh, you you've been in Japan for even longer. I think you and I have been in the Japan for the same length of time, about twelve years. Uh, yeah, eleven, uh, ten or eleven years. Ten, eleven, yeah. So, why why did you first decide to come to Japan? Yeah, I came to Japan to do my PhD. All right, and what was that in? Uh, uh, pedagogy, right? Uh, the study in education. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what university were you doing at a university in Japan, or or how was that? Uh, first, uh, I did my master degree in in China. I I majored in Japanese. Uh, I was just thinking of doing my PhD in Japan, so of course it's. It's my it was my major Japanese, but uh, I just chose a school who can get my scholarship. Uh, mm -hmm. It was Hokkaido University. Okay, so when you first came here, did you move to Hokkaido? Yeah, yeah, Sapporo, Hokkaido. How long did you live there? Uh, for six years, I think. Yeah, almost six years. What does, what brought you to Shizuoka? Uh, I find a job. I found a job here. Okay, so Suak, Suak did okay. So you're you're of course from from China. Where in China are you from? Uh, Shanghai. You know Shanghai. I know Shanghai, but uh, could could you maybe introduce it a little bit for for the students who are watching? Just a little bit. Shanghai. Uh, I think it's famous for, uh, or you maybe everyone knows it as a big city. Uh, uh, it's famous for the for for the uh, sightseeing and and for example, Xiaolongbao, uh, dumplings, Chinese food, and uh, rich people maybe. <laughs> You know, Beijing, uh, the capital of China, is famous for like uh, uh, historical like places. But Shanghai is maybe it's it's more famous for for economy or, or yeah, kinds like that. Mm -hmm. Shanghai is the biggest city in China. The biggest city in China. Actually. What's what's the population of Shanghai? I'm not. Do you know offhand or? Twenty-five million people. I think twenty-five million. Yeah, ten kohakuma is it is right? Twenty-five million people. And before you came here, you lived your whole life in Shanghai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I and Beijing. Were you born in? I've been to Beijing. <laughs> oh, you've never been to Beijing. How far away is Beijing? It's quite, quite, quite far. <laughs> like, uh, if you took the train there, how long would it take? About the train, I've never tried, but if it's by plane, I think it takes several hours. So, yeah, yeah, several hours. Okay, so that's quite far. Uh, farther than I think. If you take a train to Hokkaido, it just takes, I think, one or two hours. It takes, yeah, far. Much more than that way. Beijing is further north, correct? Uh mm huh. North part. Shanghai is oh. is the east part. How's the weather in, in Shanghai? Is it uh, typically warm in summer, and is there how's the winter like, for example? It's warm and and hot in summer. Thirty seven degrees at seventy eight seventy eight degrees in summer, and it's cold in winter. It's it's close to like tropical, I think. And then it's it's tropical field, so, so. Does, it, does it 
Does it snow in Shanghai? Uh, it seldom snows, but yeah, it, it snows. All right. Um, so you mentioned that you majored in in Japanese. Why did you decide to major in Japanese? Uh, I like language. I like learning language, and uh, I like uh, chemistry. Actually, uh, when I was in high school, I like chemistry. But you know, chemistry it's it's, it's not fun at all. <laughs> so uh, it it's it's a long story. Actually, uh, in 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 Japan, you have gongsho right uh, to choose what to uh, major. In the university in in China, uh, you have to choose your major before the entrance exam. Uh, the three majors I, I'm thinking of: uh, the first one is like language learning, for example, English or Japanese, or uh, the another one is chemistry. But chemistry is is not that popular, so it's my second one. The first one uh, I chose a language learning thing, but uh, I've learned English from my primary school. So I'm. Um, I was thinking of choose another language I've never learned. So that's why I chose Japanese as my major. It's clear that you you speak English very well, and of course your Japanese is uh, quite perfect. I think, or almost perfect. And you you obviously speak Chinese. How many other languages do you speak? I speak English, Chinese. Uh, if if talk to like Hogan. Uh, Dialects. I speak Shanghainese, Cantonese, besides Mandarin. Mm -hmm. So the two dialects is is, I'm personally I don't speak Chinese at all, <laughs> so I'm not familiar with the accents there. But um, maybe the students aren't so either. But um, is the sh you said. Shanghai ease. I, I'm not sure how to. How to maybe that's how you say it. Uh, but if is that language quite different, or is it similar to like the dialect in uh, in 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 Japan? Like uh, what, what's the dialect here called? I forgot. Uh, yeah. Is it is it just like a few words that are different, or is it quite different? I think it's totally different. The accent, the pronunciation, and vocabulary, and, and even grammar. A total di different. So, in fact, it's you can consider it as different languages. Cantonese, uh, for example, Cantonese has uh, like nine accents, and Mandarin just had four, and Shanghainese had six. So it's it's from from pronunciation, it's totally different, and the vocabulary and and, and grammar too. So perhaps uh, some of the students that uh, have uh, not been to China or are interested in traveling there, um, what what's it like? Obviously, you live there for a large portion of your life. What's it like uh, living there in 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 China? Mm -hmm. I think uh, Shanghai. It's it's almost like Tokyo and or Osaka. It's everything is very convenient, and you can uh, take a train to everywhere. You can. Uh, Go to departments. You can go to uh, restaurants, but you if you go to like west part or south part, maybe everything might be totally different. Uh, the culture, the food, uh, even the uh, the weather are totally different. I think uh, far different from uh, from Okinawa to Hokkaido. I think uh, I suggest people going to, for example. Uh, South part, for example, Yunnan province for, for sightseeing, it's it's like you can see very uh, ethnic groups. You can see the culture. If you go to Beijing, you can see the ancient China. If you go to Shanghai or Guangzhou, you can see the, the pop, the, the most newest China, maybe most popular China, maybe. So uh, you you know you've been living in Japan for a while now, and uh, what could you explain some of the differences? Maybe uh, you said it was similar to to Tokyo and stuff, but what what are some of the differences? Uh, you know, like f for you when you were young living in China and and now living in Japan. I think the culture maybe. Uh, Chinese people are more. Uh, I can't say cool, but but. Uh, 
there's not that so many like connection to 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 your your neighbor or, or everything. Maybe everyone has it's just live uh, independently. But uh, in Japan, I think there's more connection with each other. You have like that's that's wa or daijin suru or something. Uh, in China, it's it's more like I think in 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 American way. Is it? I don't know. Uh, are China and America similar? Yeah, I would say that China and America are more similar than China. I mean, than uh, Japan and America. So there's, uh, I think there's also like bullying or Jimmy or something in China. But it, in fact, in China, it's it's you you have to fight for yourself everywhere. So it's that's not that popular. Uh, that's not that common. Sorry, not not popular, not that common in China because everyone has to learn to fight for themselves from from very 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 young, very small. So uh, that's the that's the most different uh, part in living China. Not so many connections with with your neighborhood, ever your your colleagues or or something. Everyone's more independent. Yeah. I saw a uh, uh, just a random video on YouTube once. I think it was uh, it was about an exchange student. I th I forgot where they were from, but they went to study abroad in China at like a a high school, I think it was. And just watching that like China Chinese high schools look pretty tough like they were there like long time like what's the average day at, at high school like in China in Shanghai it, it, it's it's I think it's uh, a bit different not that long as what what you've watched on, on YouTube but yet yeah, quite long uh, even in universities usually they don't do, the students don't do part-time job just study from morning to to evening, uh, just studying. So it's uh, it, it's what uh, students should do. It's considered what students should do in China, just study and and yeah, then you can get a good job. I mean that that's uh, that's also what what's different in China and Japan. Japan they 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 do part time job. They do like club uh, like. Uh, Love cuts it or something. Uh, in China, yeah, it's it's just study. Is it possible to get a part time job when you're a student, or is it just is it like illegal or or something? It's okay, but it's it's a rare case actually. Your parents also will agree the child doing part time job. It's it's not not your duty actually. It's not your duty. Uh, so in your in your free time, I, I imagine you spend time with with your family. Uh, what else What else do you do uh, when you're when you're free? I really enjoy watching TV, watching TV programs, uh, Japan Japanese TV programs. So uh, yeah, that's what I do uh, in my spare time. All reading books, listening to music. I think as everyone do, and, and I really enjoy watching TV. What kind of TV do you watch? Uh, everything, dramas, uh, maybe very, very city city things. Also, uh, quiz quizzes, everything, almost everything. I think that's uh, another way. I'm still learning Japanese. That's another way for me to learn Japanese. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely don't watch TV as much as you, maybe. <laughs> Or I don't watch Japanese TV very much. Um, I don't really like TV, but um, anyways, um, it's definitely a good way to learn Japanese, though, or another foreign language. If you're watching that language, whatever language you want to learn, you can watch TV programs in that language. Would you have any Chinese programs that you could recommend to students interested in, in studying Chinese? If you like music or, or like dramas, uh, I think the TV station in China, they upload every programs on YouTube. 
and it's it's totally free and and it's legal. It's it, so you can check it. Uh, there are many TV programs. Sorry, what what would they search for? What, like a TV station? I think uh, the most famous one called Kashu means singer. I'm I'm a singer, so uh, very famous singers they just sing uh, other songs to compete who who sings the best. It, it's uh, quite famous and. Uh, if you like music, I think you don't you don't have to know every words, know what they're saying. You you can just enjoy the music and learn some Chinese maybe through this pro, uh, through TV program. If you like uh, dramas, you can. Uh, if you like love food, Chinese food, I think uh, there's a very famous program called uh, Uh It Made, it was made by CCTV, uh, like NHK. So it, it introduced uh, famous food everywhere in China. It's a TV series. Now, it, it, I think it's it, it has two seasons. It's it's now second season, so you can watch it uh, online. Shijian Shang the quite famous. So. Uh... We talked a little bit earlier about uh, your your language skill and uh, what kind of advice could you give to students studying a second language or a third language, like ways that they can uh, improve uh, or hasten maybe their language learning ability? Uh, I think the most important point is to find something you're interested in. In. So maybe teachers will uh, will suggest books, but if you are not interested in reading books, it might be very boring. So uh, if you are interested in, for example, in music, you can uh, learn languages through listening to music. Or if you are interested, I I am interested in grammars and vocabularies. So I I I'm, I didn't feel boring learning grammars and and vocabularies, but if you do not, then don't read like grammar books or, or <laughs> don't just recite like vocabulary books. You can choose you can choose novels if you like novels or, or scientific uh, uh, not anything. So choose uh, one you are interested at. In. I think it's it's quite important and uh, yeah. Time is another point. Uh, you have to spend time learning language every every day, not just like once every week, one hour every week. It I think it doesn't make sense. So if you have if you want to learn the language uh, well, you have to spare a lot of time learning every day. Maybe. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to. Uh, uh, Ra Sensei's uh, story uh, about China and everything. So let's say th say goodbye to him. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>